Good morning, YouTube. Today we're going to be going over how to polish wheels that have a coating uh, of some sort on them. Grew up down an old dirt road in a town you wouldn't know. My pops picked the place up for 1500 bucks back in 1964. My grandfather. Uh, clear coat, ceramic coat. This is how you're going to polish wheels. So these are uh, aluminum wheels, and we're just going to be basically cleaning them up, polishing them. Um, you can see, obviously, they're pretty dirty here. Um, so the first thing you're going to do is get some uh, some kind of something to clean them with. Uh, we'll just wipe these wheels down really good here. Get all the grime off of them. You can tell how dirty they are, and they're really not in bad shape. Uh, but you can tell that they're, you know, just running the rag over them. There's some spots that have, you know, it's a little rough. Whatever coating was on them um, has deteriorated just a little bit just from your common day-to-day -day driving. So I just want to wipe these down. Obviously, it's probably best to wash your car, you know, spray it down first before you do this. But I just wanted to show you guys everything from start to finish. So... This wheel is uh, pretty clean right now just with the rag. And like I said, as I wipe my rag over this wheel, you can feel spots where it's just, you can really feel how rough it is. Um, some spots are better than others, but we'll be kind of cleaning this up for the most part pretty good. And what this will do is it'll also help it in the future. Um, when you wash the car, you know, once they're they're polished and have a wax coating on them, it'll beat off water better. A lot of the contaminants that do get it from road grime, it's going to be harder for that those contaminants to stick. So what we're going to do is here I've got a, I think it's called a power ball, but any, really any attachment that's soft um, that go, will go on your drill will work. You can find them at like AutoZone, Napa, all the different car stores, even online, I'm sure, Amazon. Um, but pick them, pick one of them up. First thing I'm gonna do is just to make sure that the uh, polish that goes on here rubs in a little better, I'm just gonna spray a couple. Uh, this is just soapy water I've got here. I'm gonna spray that on here to uh, make sure that it, it uh, penetrates a little bit better. And we're gonna be using First Off Compound Technically, these wheels really probably aren't bad enough to have compound, um, but I'm going to run it uh, over these because there are some spots that are a little rough. So we'll do a quick run with compound and then we'll finish with um, a regular car polish. Now this is Meguiar's, but really any compound is going to work and that's how we'll start off here. So we'll just use some of this on this pad here. And once it's on there pretty good, I always just take it to the wheel a little slow just to get it spread out. Pretty good. Spread it all over the wheel. And then once it's spread out and it's not going to sling, you can turn up the speed on the drill. So here we go. Do make sure when you get over to your valve stem that you don't whack, you know, or hit this too hard. Um, it would be a shame if you were to, you know, break that valve stem off and have to get it repaired. So make sure to be careful in that area. Worst case scenario, you can just hit these spots by hand with a rag um, if you can't get them good with your power tool. So we'll continue on, finish this wheel off. Um, once it's completely done with the uh, drill, we'll wipe it down, clean our uh, pad here to uh, go into the next step, which is just a regular polish. So we'll continue on. All right, so this step again isn't going to actually shine your wheel. You're basically just taking and smoothing off all the spots so that when you go in with your polish, it just kind of finishes off the job. So grab a rag here. It's best if you can use a microfiber just because they're soft. And once you start cleaning up your wheels, they're going to do the best job at not uh, introducing any new scratches. Obviously, when you're using rags, make sure they're clean so that there's not any, you know, anything that's in the rags that's going to scratch the wheel. So just by uh, filling with the rag, this wheel's night and day. Um, as far as the smoothness, there's no rough spots. 
um, that I'm feeling as I go over it like there was before. And that's definitely a plus. So we'll get all of this off and we will go ahead and clean our um, ball here and come back here in just a second. All right guys, just wanted to show you how I clean these. Uh, the best way that I've found to clean them is uh, some pad cleaner. This is for, you know, your pads on a DA that you use to, you know, buff your car um, or even a rotary buffer. It is for foam. So what I do, it's from Chemical Guys. There's probably a bunch of different brands out there. Uh, but just give this a couple good coats. And then you can actually just spread it in pretty good here. And run some warm water if possible. Sorry about the dirty sink and just rinse that out real good. The reason that you want to do this is there's still uh, compound in this and if you mix it with the wax, um, or I'm sorry, with the polish, then you're not going to have, you know, the 100% mixture of polish. You're going to get all of that out there. Um, if you just hit it a couple times, then you can get all that water out of there. And this is a directional uh, buffer here so make sure you don't spin it off the drill like I have all right so we're clean and ready to go back over to our wheels to uh, finish up with the polish all right so as you can see we've got the uh, pad here clean um, and now we're finished up with the compound and we're ready for the glaze now typically I would use a polish um, just like this, just a regular um, polish, Mothers, Meguiar's, any brand really will, will work. Now I just ran out of this, so what we're going to use in place of that is a show car glaze. Kind of does the same thing, um, but we'll kind of start now. Obviously you want to make sure that your pads lubricated all the way around. You'll get some of your uh, polish or glaze here. Go over your pads, same way that you did with the uh, compound and really this is the exact same step you're just using something else on the pad so uh, again you're gonna make sure that you get this uh, coated all over the wheels so that you're not slinging it all over the place when you get up to speed and you'll go ahead and start All right, so you can see that uh, went over the entire wheel. Obviously, if your wheels are in you know worse condition, each one of these steps, as far as the polishing goes, might take a little bit longer. Um, but that's the gist of it. Now you're going to take your rag and make sure you've got all of this wiped off. Uh, it's extremely clean. Because the next step that you're going to do is use your choice of wax. Now, what the wax is going to do is basically put a thin layer of coating on these wheels so that you know road grime things like that have a harder time of sticking to it and they'll also protect them a little bit as well so um, it'll kind of make the smooth the surface extremely smooth so any of the uh, road grime and particulates that come off the ground will have a harder time to stick to them now what i'm going to be using is um, also a mcguire's wax there's tons of different ones out there, but this is a Carnuba Wax um, by Meguiar's. And I found the easiest way to apply this wax is with just a foam applicator. You can get them again at any of the hardware stores um, or automotive stores, I should say. So you get some wax, go ahead and add it onto this applicator. You really don't need a lot. In this case, I probably got more than I need. You're gonna go over these wheels and make sure that you've uh, coat them with a thin coat. You don't want any spots that have uh, excess wax because it will take longer to dry. So you'll kind of go over these wheels, make sure that you've got all of the spots, the lugs, uh, you know, around the center, everywhere, all of the spokes and the outside uh, rim. Kind of go over this entire wheel here. and make sure you get the very outside rim as well. All the spots here. And what you're gonna do at this point is wait until this dries 
and then you'll buff it off with a dry rag and we'll show you what that looks like here in just a sec. Hello YouTube. So now that the wax has dried on the on the wheel, what we're going to do is actually go ahead and buff off all of the wax. <clears throat> One way you can tell if the wax is dry is if you take and wipe your finger on it, it should create almost like a dust rather than smear. So that's how you know that it's dry. Uh, usually 15-20 minutes, um, depending on your ventilation in the area, uh, will cause the wax to dry. So we're good to go. And you're going to go ahead and just buff uh, all of the wax off the wheel. Now, for this step, make sure you have a clean, uh, dry rag. Make sure that there's no uh, metal shavings for any reason or no dirt, particles that will scratch the wheel. And make sure that the, that the cloth is dry. And you can go ahead and buff off all of the wax that you applied because it has dried. As you can see, now that this wheel has been, uh, there's been some compound ran on it, there's been some uh, polish, you can see that it's really buffing out nice. And the good thing is, is with your wax, it will stay um, nice and polished for a good time now. One thing I uh, wanted to mention earlier is if you are not sure if your wheel has a protective coating on it or not, some wheels are fairly difficult to tell just because, you know, if you have a chrome wheel, it's hard to see if you've got anything on top of it. One thing you can do is actually take some uh, metal polishing compound and take a rag and sort of wipe the wheel, make sure it's clean. If you wipe for just a second and there's nothing that comes off as far as a dark black material, you know that you've got a, a coating on your wheel. If you don't have a coating on your wheel and you start buffing and there will be a black, uh, looks like a very dirty material that comes off of it and that's just from the polish that's letting you know that it's working on the metal. So that's one thing to definitely check for. If your wheels don't have a, a coating on them, this is not the way to polish them. Um, you want to look up, you know, maybe some videos on how to use uh, metal or how to polish metal wheels. So if you have any questions, please uh, feel free to comment below. I will get back to them. Uh, any questions you guys have as soon as possible. Uh, but this is the finished product once that's done. And like I said, with the wax protectant, it's going to withstand a lot more. It'll be a lot more durable moving forward. Thanks for watching.